India, a country that overwhelms the senses. The Garden of Eden must have been as beautiful as this. With year-round warm weather and a low cost of living, could this be the perfect place to retire? If you'd won the lottery, where would you choose to be? I'm going there almost as a child, uh, with my eyes wide open. Thank you. Inspired by the blockbuster film, eight well-known faces are spending a month in Kochi, in the south of India. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Oh. To see if living out their golden years here could be a real alternative. Oh, my God, I look fantastic. Handsome. We started to dance down the street. I never thought I would ever do that at my age. Whatever's new and exciting, I haven't done it yet. Let's do it. And let go. Oh! <laughs> but will the challenges of India prove a step too far? Calm down, everybody. Chill, pill. There's something down there that feels like it shouldn't be. Or could this incredible country give them real food for thought? I can't help being excited by India. The group are in their second week in Old Kochi, in the southern Indian state of Kerala. Oh, morning, Dennis. Oh, morning. morning. Hello, darling. <laughs> although we're in India, and although it's different, it actually feels a bit like home. And they are enjoying some of the simplest benefits of their unusual retirement home. Honestly, you're a one-off. No, you're a one-off. And you and I are very close in age. Isn't it wonderful to be able to talk about the war? I find it really difficult when people talk about age. I never, ever envisaged getting to this age. Oh, my God. I'm Happy so birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Today is Amanda's 81st birthday. I don't want to remember how old I am. If you could hypnotise me and say, Amanda, you have no idea what your age is, I think it might be quite good. Because I haven't really changed at all, unfortunately. Oh, I can't reach you. Uh, happy birthday. Come here. I said happy birthday to you by mistake. Yes, you did, but it's, it's, it's all right. You missed Thank mine. Thank you. <laughs> so, what would you like to do tonight, birthday girl? I would like to be with you, Sheila. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, how about if we try to plan something around your profession. Oh, yes. 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 No, I'm really looking forward oh. to that. I'm so glad it's not a surprise. Oh, no, no, we, we wouldn't take you anywhere it. without theatre, darling. Morning. Shall we have a little bit of a power walk? Swinging your arms Yeah, it's good. Lionel and Dennis are up and out early, along with their neighbours, to avoid the heat of the day. As you get older, you do get aches and pains. A doctor told me it's because of all the dancing that I've done throughout my life. So when I wake up in India, I just love being warm. I think it's good for old bones. The people of Kerala have one of the highest life expectancies in India. He's got the arms going, yeah. yeah. I don't think we'll catch him, but we can... No. Morning. Look at that. Did they play football here before they go off to school? They must do. Come on. Come on. Jump, man. Hey. I think he's calling you, Lionel. He wants you for a game. <laughs> Are you the coach of I'm the... I'm the coach of this team. Of all Boys, of them. Yes. For 46 years, I'm doing this on the ground. 46 years? Oh, I started in 19 May 1970. And I produced many players who played for the country. Soccer is the name of the beautiful game. Played by the good, the bad and the ugly. <laughs> 
Look at them, look at them training. Yeah. Wonderful. How old is Rufus? 85. 85. 86. No. 86. 86. 86. Young. See, I'm like a rubber. <laughs> 87. Whoa, 87. you are a little miss. Good, very good. We are very good. Rufus. We should learn. Rufus, yeah. 92. <laughs> I'm running off, going off. <laughs> I'm, see, yeah. my fitness, I am look after my health, you know. Yeah. You would like to come for come warming up? Oh. Come on there, see the boys. Keep them, I, keep. I could love to, Rufus, but I have a bad back. It was no, you don't have a bad back. You have a big tummy. Yes, I know. The back is all strong, but you've got a tummy. Yes, it's a problem. Very nice. There's a, story, a long story. I've had prostate cancer, and I had that treated. And my health, touch wood, is, is fine. But the treatments I had have given me a distended tummy. And this is what I hate, is my belly. And I loathe that. It's yeah. a pleasure to meet you. It's a really excellent pleasure to meet you. Thank you very and much. Thank God for sending you here. Thank, thank you. you. Come on, bye -bye. Thank you, Sarunara. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, good, <laughs> very good. Thank you. 86, he's remarkable. Fantastic. 75-year-old bird watcher Bill is enjoying a gentler pace of life. When you get a whole chorus of them like that, I think this is rather lovely. And the silhouettes are rather lovely too. I'm most comfortable sometimes just being on my own. I was an only child, but I wasn't that happy at home. And I used to get on my bike and cycle off to the reservoir and commune with the birds a bit, you know. <laughs> Being out in the open air and in touch with nature does help with mental health. There's no question about that at all. I was diagnosed as bipolar a few years ago now. Its original title was Manic Depressive. And I think that's so much better description because depressive is easy to understand. You just learn in bed, you can't move, you can't do anything, you can't think. But the manic part, you're very hyper, and it took several, several years to sort of wheel my way through this terrible journey on the bipolar thing and come out the other end, I think, sort of thinking, OK, I feel OK now. Happy birthday, Ian. Thank you so much. Nice that we're having it here, isn't it? Thank you very much. Much all sorts of little treats going on. Dennis. Yes, Paul. Are you dressing up a little bit? Ah, uh, yeah. Putting you put a jacket on. Well, that's no, that's perfect. Lovely. A little jacket. <laughs> you're just, a, you're, you're just a model, Paul. Tonight, the group are heading out to celebrate Amanda's birthday. I have a special ointment for my back, which aches when I walk. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Uh, come on. <laughs> oh, here's the birthday girl. Well, yeah. uh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday, dear Amanda. Oh. Happy birthday. I can say is it's like winning the lottery and oh. come here with you daft lot. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I can't think of anything to give you, but if by chance I don't make it back to England, my body parts are you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. oh look at that. One yeah. oh, 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 quick, quick. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. 
I'll put it so, on the table. It just so happens I'm starving. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Brilliantly oh. done, if I may say so. Thank you, darling. Yeah. Okay, you've got a little bit of cream on your cheek, Amanda. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the truth. Nothing changes. <laughs> Ready to walk and roll? Yeah. Come along, my Please. sweetheart. Shall we off? And we're going to the theatre. Come on, sweetheart. See you at 5.30. Have See a you good later. day. And so much is going with you. Show you the way. Sheila has organized a trip to see some traditional katakali. This classical Indian theater featuring demons, gods and goddesses was born in the temples of Kerala. This is exciting, isn't it, Lion? It's wonderful. Oh, sorry. Trod on myself going upstairs. I started off in the business as a chorus girl with Barbara Windsor, full makeup, skirts up here, eyelashes up there. I love Indian dancing. I was 17 years a dancer. The actors in Katakali tell the story through dance and precise movement of the face and eyes. that I would be in India on my birthday with people I'd never met before. It's wonderful. Life does begin at 80. You've got Miriam in her 80th year, Lionel who's 87, Amanda who's over 80. What an advert for old age that is. What was that about? I just, I thought you nearly fell over, didn't you? <laughs> Try and behave. <laughs> How were you all feeling? Well, I've had a lovely day. Did you have a nice you day? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling upset about this. I've had it for years, and it is so depressing, yeah. you cannot imagine. But your prostate You're cancer healthy. is gone. I know. Yes. It, yeah. But you'd like to so get rid of the tummy. have I got yes. this distended tummy? I know it's been sometimes a bit of a joke. It's not a joke to me. Nobody's joked about it. And I, no, let me, let me just, it's, it's just... No, it was like the coach that was coaching the young lads in football. He was a very fit 86, and he referred and he said, to Lyman's tummy. Yeah, but you've got a fat tummy. It made me feel dreadful. Yeah. Because well, it, should, so... it shouldn't. It shouldn't. But don't we say don't... it shouldn't if it's not you, Dennis. It was me, Mild. and it really hurt. A lot of older people get a bit of a tummy. It's usually from beer, but this isn't. And that is why it really worries me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Medication. Look, it's all into different bags. That's the evening bag. That's my favourite, really, because it contains the the only medicine that's ever worked for me, really. I think, and that was that's lithium, which I still take. I've been doing for some years. When I was diagnosed as being bipolar, one of the doctors said, "Anybody who ever saw the goodies would have known that you're bipolar." And I wish they'd told me that 20 odd years ago, but they didn't. Anyway. <laughs> India is the home of Ayurvedic medicine. 
Thought to be 5,000 years old, it aims to balance body and mind through diet, lifestyle and herbal remedies. There are Ayurvedic clinics all over the state of Kerala. Bill and Lionel are visiting one a five-minute drive from their home. I do actually, I've got this little dream that some health guru will wave their hand across me in India and I will feel a lot better. <laughs> hey, hi Bill. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yes. Wow. I think I need Um, there's libido, meaning I don't feel like it, and there's libido, meaning I can't do it. Uh -huh. And um, I'm the second, put it that way, you know, mainly because of medication. Uh -huh. I've got a beautiful wife, I love female com company and everything else, and if nothing else, I'd like to think I could. <laughs> But um, I've learned to kind of live with that for a long time, you know. So certainly we do have certain things which you can try, if that's okay Yeah, with it you. doesn't involve a transplant or anything No. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> what I want you to do is try this external application. Do you provide the lady as well? Yeah. We, are, we are not advanced to that level yet. You're not. All no. right. It's a, it's a eight to ten drops of the liniment to be massaged well into the affected part. Mm-hmm. What that, it does, is that what it, I think it is? It is, and <laughs> really helps to increase the circulation. I'll test it. Exactly. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, go there. Yes. Yes. Next door, Lionel is having an Ayurvedic treatment he hopes will reduce his distended stomach. What I'm hoping is there might be a doctor there that will go, oh, I know exactly what you need, zoom, and it would go. And that would be magical to me, because no doctor in Britain has been able to. Use some herbal powders mixed with an oil, which is rubbed onto your tummy by two lovely therapists from here. And these young men will really try to take those fat off from your tummy. It's smoothing it out. It's like, I suppose, a form of iron in my tummy. I'm hoping treatment in India will help my belly. It's another culture, it's another way of living. And if I could get rid of this, I would be the happiest person in the world. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh. All this sweating really gets you down. After two weeks in India, some of the group are still acclimatizing to the high temperatures. It's so hot and we're sweating. We're sweating so much. We're very sweaty, my yeah. darling. Shall we go? Good morning, Ali. Undeterred by the hot weather, Dennis and Paul have accepted an invitation for a day out with two locals they met last week. Paul Gatti Palace Golf Club, yeah? My big passion is golf. You know, um, any spare time I have, uh, it would be spent on the golf course. How often would you go playing golf on a tuk-tuk and a ferry? <laughs> oh dear, let the games begin. It costs £4.50 to play on this course. Dennis and Paul are playing new friends Joe and Tom. Gentlemen, how are you? Morning. Morning, Dennis. Morning, gentlemen. Lovely to see you. Tom. Tom, Tom nice Jacko. to see you. Hi, Paul. Joe, how are you? Joe, nice how are you doing? Hello. Hello. I've tried playing golf. Uh, I'm not great at golf. Oh, yeah. oh. good start. Tough course, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go very far. It's still, it's still down. Oh. Yeah. We're in trouble here. Paul can't get the ball on the tee. 
I find it goes on a bit, doesn't it? Uh, you know, and if you're if you're not good at it. <laughs> Can I go again? It's okay, yeah. Oh, bugger. Off the tree, not bad. You have to keep mobile when you're older because just to be sedentary and not take part in life is a downward spiral, I think, into real old age. It's okay. It's a chaser. Oh! Oh! Well, I've got the tree and the car. No, he's not supposed to park the car there. He's not supposed to park it there. <laughs> I don't really have a health regime, but I play a lot of golf, uh, so you walk five or six miles a day. I try to look after my heart, because that's the, the big okay. thing. Back in 1984, I got a terrible phone call uh, saying that my mum had died suddenly. She was only 62. She had a massive heart attack. Because of that, I try to keep myself reasonably fit. And I don't tend to think too far forward, and I just accept everything as it comes along, because you never know what's around the corner. Just enjoy every single day. So I need to get this close. OK. Oh, what a... Whoa! The old cliche, enjoy every single day, and I do. And when I play a game of golf, I put a little tick there, and I'll say that's another day they can't take away from you. Brilliant. Oh, that's the second time today. Brilliant. Dennis cannot imagine a retirement without golf. For Bill, having access to wildlife is a must. Today, he and Lionel are heading to a nature reserve. At some point, I'd love to stop the garage and move. I should have done that earlier, really, and I didn't. Yeah, yeah, three. Mm. Shake hands with an old friend. Point Percy Sportsman. <laughs> God, I can't see. Better? Yeah, <laughs> but in itself, that is not a pleasurable experience. There's no light, no paper, you've no idea where you are, you're feeling around in the dark. I don't like it. No, I don't I like it at all. Just a few hours from Kochi, the Western Ghats region is world-renowned for its wildlife. Is that you, me or an elephant? <laughs> it's a very good noise. I am most comfortable in a sort of wildlife setting. Those beautiful kingfishers on the wires and they're bigger and brighter and lovelier than ours. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Ah, oh, this is... Excuse me. That's it. Scared all the wildlife. And that sneeze. Being quiet is quite an important thing. I might have to gag line on mind, I? <laughs> I'll wait here for you, Doug. <laughs> Whoa, kukul. Kukul. That's a kukul. I collapsed into a state whenever it was six, seven years ago. And the first thing I did was stop going out birding on Hampstead Heath, which is my regular place. That was a definition 
of depression for me. It was a sign, you know, that all the joy is gone for the time being. But I'm happy to say it's come back. Listen to that. Now, Bill would probably love that and would know exactly who it is. Often, you know, wherever we've been, he's taken himself off by himself. Maybe in a big group, he kind of holds back. But today, with me, we've had a laugh, and I think he's enjoyed it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do that again. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> no, three, please. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The funky gibbon. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist it. That there was... you go. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's not a gibbon, that's for sure. At this morning's yoga class, teacher Raj is introducing them to the art of chanting. I thought if I looked like I knew it, he might think I did. <laughs> I don't think you're ever too old to learn new things. I, I don't anticipate putting my leg behind my head, you know. <laughs> Very good. Whoopsie. Oh, 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 oh. Vertigo, vertigo, vertigo. Well, help. No, no, I'll be all right. You get on with what you're doing and I'll just crawl around the corner. Vertigo, sorry. What is it? What happens? I got vertigo. I get my... Well, lots of... I get, get vertigo. I haven't had it for ages. Vertigo is the sensation of spinning while standing still, which induces nausea. It can be caused by a problem with the inner ear. Steady. Oh, yes. Give me your hand then. Come on. I knew things were spinning when I was doing the yoga. I lay back and the vertigo went boom. And I thought, there's no way I could stand up. And I thought, I've got to get out of the way because I'm getting in everybody's way. I just felt rather silly and stupid. I was supposed to come to India to find peace and calm and find myself, and I think I bloody well have. Look at me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Amanda has decided to visit the local hospital to see a doctor about her vertigo. Lionel, Dennis and Rusty are going along with her. One of the largest in Kerala, this hospital provides the residents of Kochi with some of the most high-tech health care in India. What a fabulous hospital. Lovely. Those are my hips going off. I'm a weird person as far as health is concerned. Two doctors I've had have said to me, you're extraordinarily tough, but then you've got a horse's nervous reaction to things. Hello. 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 How are you? Uh, I'm all right. Um, okay. I hear you're the person that I have to come to talk to because I've been suffering from vertigo. Well, I can do the procedure. Oh, thank you. Uh, I have to go. Okay. When you have it badly, it feels like you're having a fit because it's, it's like the inside of your head spins and you cannot see. Okay. It's awful. Okay. Keep yeah. your eyes open. Oh, sorry, bad, bad, bad. 
Sorry for the discomfort. Okay, yeah. It's okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Keep it down, keep it down. Yeah. There is a maneuver that he did to whip the crystals over that go in the bottom of your ear. Oh, that is as simple as that. You need to hold it for another 20 seconds. Okay. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, now it wasn't for a minute. No. Uh, you may do it by evening time at home. Yeah. Then you can do it yourself. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> thank How you. How are you feeling now? I'm all right. I'm settling down. Thank you very okay. much. Yes. Really, thank you. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> We're getting into the swing of... Indian traffic, aren't we? 79-year-old Miriam and 72-year-old Paul are exploring their local neighbourhood. It's a good bell. And keeping fit. I would like to... Oh! <laughs> you OK? OK. I cycle every day in uh, the UK, uh -huh. but on a spinning bike, which is stationary. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, Paul, I'm sorry. It's OK. Uh, um, because I think uh, bicycling is good exercise. Absolutely. And there's one very important ingredient that you should always try and have in your life, if possible, for good health, and that's laughter. Because when you laugh, you boost your immune system. Really? Yeah. So. Find yourself a joke, hun, and uh, spend some time with them. Absolutely. I mean, I think Dennis would be wonderful, you know, to spend time with to keep you healthy because it's a laugh a minute with Dennis. Yep. <laughs> Either that or you end up killing him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll just get this card. Hello. Hi, Louis. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, the nurse was lovely. Everything's fine. Thank you. OK, thank, thank you, sir. At the hospital, Dennis is taking the opportunity to have a full body health check, costing £135. The screening checks for critical diseases and tests all organ function. I've got little boobies. <laughs> it would cost over £800 for the same procedure in the UK. I'm just looking into your heart, OK? Right, you know, back when my mum passed away, if we had known that there was anything wrong with her heart, we could have, we could have done something. See, your heart is good. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, functionally, it is quite efficient. Oh, so you can continue all these activities with impunity. Uh, a bit more exercise. Yeah, you can, safely. To hear that is uh, excellent news. Makes me smile even more. Yeah. What, how'd you get on? Everything's perfectly healthy. Oh, oh wonderful. Oh, that's yeah. great. Lovely, because you're always a little bit, you know, with my mum having the heart yeah. attack at 62. You always uh, worry a little bit, but everything's fine. Thank so. everyone, that's good news. Very good, uh, good. You see, it's cut you off the most. Yeah. Oh. Keep smiling, he said. Keep laughing and smiling. Keep laughing. Yes, you do oh all my the time. God. That's more, it. More jokes. More oh, no. jokes. <laughs> That'll keep me from eating much. The group are settling into local life in Kochi, but are keen to make more friends. I think the rear view is very important. <laughs> we forget to do the rear view quite often. I've always loved India, but gradually I found myself falling in love with India. Done. I think the main change is that I'm feeling at home. I feel comfortable here. And I just don't know whether to do this. Tonight, they've accepted an invitation to drinks in the city. That's all right. Mm -hmm. We are going tonight to meet um, the expats who live here. And I presume they've been here for some time and did move out here and retired. So I suppose they're going to know everything that we want to know. OK, you think the expats are ready for this? Let's do it. 
Yeah, very nice. I think your ensemble is let down by your underpants. <laughs> I know. I am wearing them. Is oh, I'm sure you are, but they don't match it unless you put the brown ones on. Guess again. Oh. No, it's the black ones again. The black ones. No, no, no da He's more dangerous than that. The purple. The purple. India has the fastest growing economy in the world, encouraging thousands of people to move to the country. This evening is the regular social gathering for foreign residents living in Kochi. How long have you lived here? This is our seventh year. And how has India treating you? I like India very much. Uh, do I look like I'm from Kerala? <laughs> no, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from New York. <laughs> You're not. Philadelphia. <laughs> no, yeah, really? Philadelphia, whoa. So are you thinking about, yeah. could yeah. I possibly live here? So it's something I'm thinking about. I can move anywhere I want in the world. I now need to make that choice. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm divorced, and another criteria is the fact that there may not be enough people. I need to find a guy who's single. I, you know, I, I mean, have to tell you, yeah. I've met plenty of gentlemen who I think would enjoy meeting really? a vivacious Philly girl. Really? I think so. Well, there is hope for me yeah, then. So do you have retirement homes here? They're starting to happen. You see what's part happened of is traditionally in India. Yeah. The family look, look after, after the, the old family. Family. Oh, yeah. But that's changing now, yeah. like so many other things. My mind is so open about India. I mean, it's a sort of watch this space. It is a different life, and it has got enormous amount of things, I think, to offer. Where we live is actually not far from here. It's overlooking this waterway. Beautiful view. The Chinese fishing nets just mm. below our balcony, yeah, yeah. and what we pay, I'll state it in dollars, mm. it's just about $500 a month that's, that for all a, a size of If I see a place that I like, I, I might say, I gotta live here. I don't owe anybody in the world money, and I have no mortgage. Everything I have, I own oh, outright. I like that, I don't like bills. So that's what I'm saying, I can move anywhere I choose to move without any ties. Tell them an adventurer, yeah. you know, whatever, it's oh, new and exciting, I haven't done it so yet, let's do it. There you yes. go. And yeah, no. that means India's the place for you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've met some of the most amazing people. They say the quality of life here is so much better than it is at home, and they can live cheaper here, and go to places that are historically wonderful, and they have the best quality of life here in Cochin. I've just got to say something. Yes. Look at that moon. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's a blab. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm Since his appointment, Bill has been following the instructions from his Ayurvedic doctor. He's given me a little oily thing which left stains on the bed, which wasn't at all nice. That's not good. For impotence. What? Is that supposed to get you up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got to lock my yes, door? She, will, yes. she, she was in great danger. She's in next up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you really think that's healing? Is that supposed to be for your impotence, then? God knows. Question for Miriam, as undoubtedly the expert in the area of health and things that you get to make you better. Is there any evidence that any of them work? One of the reasons why I would have to say I don't know about Ayurvedic medicine. I, I don't know what I is, don't know. No, but I, I, the reason I don't know is because I'm not a believer in alternative medicines. I only believe in medicines that have been proven to work and are effective. And there's hardly any research at all. For that reason, and because as a doctor, I can't recommend anything to a person if I don't know it works, I've kind of shunned 
alternative medicine. And you know, the most probably the most powerful healing organ you've got is your brain. You saying that? I, wish I was told there is something in my brain that is causing this. Really? My tummy, yes. And it's not helping my tummy at all. That's why I'm interested in going, because every doctor I've been to that I've told about this thing, I said, can I get rid of it? And they said, no. I'm not saying that everyone should agree with me. Right, yeah. yeah. And you, there are um, orthodox doctors who use homeopathic medicines and complementary therapies. Well, the interesting thing is, is that one in three people will respond to taking something which is inactive, and that's because mm. they believe. Now, that, in a way, is magical yes, and mystical. Yes, yes. I think it is something to do with that. There's a part of your brain. Despite Dr. Miriam's doubts, Lionel is having his second session with the Ayurvedic doctor to find out if there is more he can do to help his stomach. It's now 38 or 30, uh -huh. and I, I used to be at 32, 34. Okay. We might be able to help losing inches, not your weight, perhaps. So the initial. Oh, inches would be wonderful. Inches, but uh, I'd like to ask a few other questions as well regarding your diet. That's oh. right. How about your appetite? Uh, do you wonderful. feel full? <laughs> Is it vegetarian, non veg? And no, I eat everything. Okay. Always, do you have a sweet tooth? I love sweet. Chocolate yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm not a big breakfast eater. Okay. I might have a croissant. Ah, okay. Or a, a Danish. <laughs> so you really do have a really sweet tooth. Yes. <laughs> do you nibble on anything in between? Sometimes. Okay. Biscuits. <laughs> Biscuits. Oh my God, that's the worst thing to nibble on. I know. So you said you are windy. 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 You know, full of gas and uh, are you burping? I have gas. Yeah. Night, you're quite at okay. Night, I get windy. You get windy at night, okay. Yes. Regarding the wind, the first thing what we would try is adjusting your diet a little bit. We I want you to drink a bit more of water into it. And then I would like you to have some buttermilk. Buttermilk. Buttermilk with some curry leaves in it and a slash of ginger. Because there is good uh, bacteria in it, the good bacteria kind of grows in number and which would help to bring down your tummy as well. Really? Yeah. And I would like you to do uh, something called wind relieving posture in yoga early morning as well as just before you go to your And I think bed. I'm doing yoga tomorrow. Okay, fantastic. So can you try to all the stuff? Definitely, I can, I can write down for you. Yeah. So it's more of a lifestyle change where you have, you know, do certain small things in your daily life which can actually go a long way and help with all the problems you have. All right. It was the best medical examination since I've had this tummy. He's given me information that nobody in the UK has told me. And he said, I will promise you, you will lose a few inches off your tummy. That's all I ask for. What more could I want? Dennis, not only am I going to lose weight here, I've lost 20 years off my life, so I'm now 67. That's fantastic. Isn't that good? Yeah. You're now the same oh. age as me, Lionel. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> and he said it's things that made such sense. I've got to have things with ginger and cumin and hot water to help the wind and everything. Cumin? Yeah. Oh, that's what I am, you know. A cumin. You're a cumin being. I knew you were going That's to two in a row, that is. <laughs> well, we'd better get off, you yeah, know. Yeah, can't wait for it to get back Yeah, yeah. God bless sure. sweet thing, yeah. darling. You mustn't forget the old hat. Thanks, so. With the group feeling settled in Cochi, some are ready to venture further afield. That's not all this kissing. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. See you. There's a nice little room. Come on, Dennis. Well, you've got your pillow. That's a very nice yeah. precaution. Yes. They're going to visit one of the holiest temples in India. But with a 13-hour train journey to get there, Amanda, Bill and Lionel have decided to stay at home. I have never been so tired in all my life. I'm so tired. Oh, oh. 
magic, magic bed. And little Ted. Okay, I'm gone. Goodbye. The rest of the group are preparing for a night on the 11.15 sleeper train. Here we go. Thanks, Paul. All right, darling. We don't travel the way we used to do with the snooker world. I don't travel abroad now. It'll just be for holidays. Uh, so that would be uh, fascinating to see what, uh, what a train journey would be like. Look at his glasses! Oh, okay. His glasses! <laughs> we better find the train. I'll take you in your... Thank you. <laughs> It's a chance to test out India's famous railways, but first, they'll have to find their train. Whoa, 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 Paul, wait! Do you know where you're going? Chennai to the left. Do you know where you're going? How about here? Have you seen Chennai Express, the sign? I thrive on having new experiences and new adventures. I, I definitely want to travel across India. It's like try everything once to see if you like it. Well, within reason. I think we've got to go up the stairs and over the platform. But nobody too. saw the sign that said Chennai Express. What time does the tra train go on? Five, platform two, so turn right. Platform number one at 23. Hold it, hold it. Two there, look. It says two up there. She said platform three. Well, I heard Let's her go down. Three. Paul does not want to wait for anybody. I think it's this we one. Got that ball. What time does the train? 11.05. 11.05. It's here. I still no. haven't seen a Chennai sign. Adventure, time. eh? Fantastic. <laughs> it's just like Chester Central. <laughs> is that us? It's not exactly the oh bullet, is oh. it? Oh, oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit overcrowded. Well, these look like sleepers, don't they? Yeah, they look like sleepers. Huh? For 13 pounds, they'll each have a bed in the second-class sleeper carriage. Thank you. Yeah, A1. 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 Thank you, Paul. So, go on, go on. No, go, no, go ahead, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Great. We're, we're here. I don't see an A and I don't see a bloody no, one. No, it was outside. It was no, this is outside. A1. This is I don't see it in here. No, but it's, it was outside, Calm Sheila. Down, everybody. Sheila. Chill, pill. I'm here. Is this your bag? There's 34, no, my bag's here. I'm 21. There we go. Okay. It's up here, yeah. You know, there's Reno, Tahoe, and back to the ghetto. Ha! Never in my life have I slept on a train. None big in Orient Express. Look, if it's good enough for the Indians, it's good enough for me. All right? I think we are in here. Oh, no, I don't fancy that. It's like some like it hot. Yeah, it's you know. a month. Oh, dear, I'm so sorry. <laughs> are they going to come around with sheets? He's got two sheets. I think he's taking one from me. The overnight journey will take them from Kerala to Madurai in the neighbouring state of Tamil Nadu. It's like going camping, it's like being, it's like a sleepover somewhere. It is. If anybody got a liquid Valium, <laughs> so I can get to sleep. This is luxury, mate. Big room, fan, I've light. I've never been on an overnight train. Perfect. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I've, okay. I've lived a very difficult life. <laughs> Good night, my sweetheart. We did all right, didn't we? Give me a shout in about 12 hours. Good night. Good night. The group are 10 hours into their journey and are now in Tamil Nadu. There it is. Yes. Well, I didn't sleep terribly well. These beds are a bit hard, though, aren't they, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, they're quite they're hard. Like sleeping yeah. on a board. Yeah. So did you manage to not have to get up for the toilet, or are you okay? I did, I had to get up. I nearly went out the window at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I was so desperate. So how did the girls sleep? I think they do look better than us in the mornings. Oh, they don't look better than you, darling. <laughs> you look gorgeous any time of the day. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did you fall 
to sleep now. I didn't sleep properly. Even so, it's a great experience. Oh, it's oh yeah, it's a great experience. Yeah, I, a... I wouldn't have missed this for the world. No, me. We won't want to go home. No, for sure. I don't we want won't... to go home already. I'm looking forward to the temple. This is going to be quite, quite an experience. People have been uh, worshipping there for the last thousand years, apparently. They must be exhausted. <laughs> Hello. 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 What's your name? Mia. 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 Well, that's a very pretty name. Isn't How it? old are you, Mia? Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no, no, oh, you're not ten. That's, no, that's, not ten. that's really good counting. <laughs> What's this? Lips. What's this? Yes. What's that? Hands. Yes. Good girl. Yeah. And what is that? Watch. Watch. Good girl. Does she speak any other languages? Five languages. Five? Oh. Five. Which one? Bengali, Hindi, Malayalam, Tamil, English. How did she learn all them? In school. Oh. Labor, housing, Bengali, Malayalam, ah. Hindi. Oh. Is learning. Is learning. She just picks it up naturally. What do you want to be when you're a big girl? Do you yeah. want to be a teacher? Or do you... Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a very good thing to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. After 13 hours, the group have arrived in Madurai. Very I'm not that keen on an escalator here, are they? The city's skyline is dominated by the gateway towers of the Menakshi Amman Temple. These are nice old cars, these are. A 10 minute taxi ride from the station. I'll get in the back then. Oh, Hello. It's like they're talking to each other with a horn. <laughs> it's all right, it's only a woman and a man. You know. It's amazing we've never seen a crash or anything, isn't it? Yeah. It's a rhythm to it, isn't it? There's a dance. <laughs> we just hope everyone knows the steps. <laughs> The spiritual side in India does interest me because I'm not particularly religious in that I don't know anything about Buddhism or Hinduism or anything. I'm sure there must be something spiritual that means something to me. Ah, uh, here we are. It's just wondrous. Oh my goodness gracious. There has been a temple on this site for over 2,000 years. It's very different to any temple I've ever seen before. The colour, the, the figurines, the statues. And it obviously holds great store for, for Indians, particularly Hindus. This sacred place for the Hindu religion is dedicated to the goddess Menakshi. Legend has it that her marriage to Shiva was the biggest event on Earth, with the entire world descending on Madurai. Each year, hundreds of Hindu couples are married in this temple. I don't think there's anything in this world more precious than love. So to have a temple to exalt love, to me, is, you know, I'm in heaven here. Everywhere I go, I can't help being excited by India. See the different towers? Yeah. There are 11, I think. 11? 11. One, two, three, four, five. We can see five from oh, here. Yeah. And they're spectacular. Excuse me. Do you speak English? We're from London. I'm Rishi. Hello, Rishi. I'm Paul. Nice How are you? She's my wife, Mina. Hello, Mina. How are you? Yeah. So you've come here just to sightsee or to worship or what exactly? No, because we got married here. Four years before, we got married. Today is our wedding day. Oh, I see. But lots of difficulties. What is that? I proposed her and father not accepted. We have a different caste in the society. My brother-in-law, he worked very hard to merge the families. Oh, my parents are very happy with you. We're happy with him now. <laughs> well, love, love, love triumphs everywhere. <laughs> love is the most important thing. Yeah. 
I mean, she's my soul, everything. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have any family? Uh, we don't have any babies so far. We've been worshipping for four years. We are all the time we come here. It's a very special temple for us. It is believed that the goddess Manakshi and her husband Shiva can bestow the gift of fertility. Each night, effigies of them are laid to rest together in the belief that they can make love and regenerate the universe. You come here to ask for a baby? Yeah, a lot. We are doing fasting, we are doing a lot of prayers. In India, the fertility is most important than the prosperity. Really? So if you have a fertility, the prosperity is more. That's why there are so many Indians there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to waste the nights. No, I can, tell. I can tell. Well, we wish you all the best, yeah. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you. Family for the Indian people is the most important thing in their lives. More important than having money. I mean, I've got two lovely children, Cameron and Amber, nine and eleven. And then I've got a grown-up family. I mean, how lucky am I when you hear people like that and all they want to do is just have one child. I mean, how could you love the Indian people anymore? They've got their values going on. The temple is one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. It really is special. It, it is breathtaking, but knowing it's about love, that makes me smile. And it's a lovely story of the goddess and how she went from being the warrior princess and conquering the world to meeting the right guy, that to me symbolizes hope. There is hope at the end of the tunnel. Next time. No three point turn for this man, great yeah. run. I want to know how to do. <laughs> how to get into a sari. It's you. like Thank you. putting together furniture. The group celebrate the magnificence of the tiger. You do look like you've got a couple of fried eggs on there. Definitely sunny side up. And experience the colour and magic of a Carolyn wedding. There is something so genuine about it. It shines out of the people. Whatever that is, I would like some of it.